Okay, we've got the uh, the video running. Good. Uh, it's going to be on the ground. Okay. Flashlight's out, so I can take that up. Okay, Stuart, it has been run today, so it's warmed up okay. pretty much, so I can... It's got twin magnetos on the engine. Yep. So I check each one individually, and we're at a, a certain amount of RPM drop when we do that. Okay. It's good. This is hot air for the carburetor because as you go upstairs it gets a bit cooler okay. and you might get ice forming so you don't want that to happen so we put hot air into the engine. Right. The only downside of putting hot air engine in, in the engine of course is it's not as efficient. So, yeah. It likes, engines normally like nice cold dense air. Indeed. Secure on your side, yeah. Yep. That's great. Good. Helicopter Lima Alpha two on board, ready to lift for flights in the local area. Understand the runway use is two nine zero and the Q and H one zero two eight and lifting. Lima Alpha, Roger. Okay. I lift up the lever nice and gently, and. Uh, so how do you know where to hold the cyclic lever when you're taking off? You just there, I'll be first, maybe 1-8, yeah. uh, 1-12 and 15 on board. 1-8, 1-12 and 15 on board. Okay, we'll get the lever out. Yeah, we'll get the lever out. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I think you should be able to hold it out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. have a quick look around and uh, see what's going on. Helicopter Lima Alpha lining up 2-9 departing. Lima Alpha. So again, do you always take off down the runway? Yes. Yeah, okay. yeah, generally. It can't be a better form of travel. No. It can't be. It's a superb view, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. Go for a walk, Mike Yankee, what do you check? And taxi for local police, 2 PRB, Andrews, what do you mean? There's very little excuse for getting lost in a helicopter. Hey, Yankee, you read the strength of five, two nine and left hand circuit, QNH 1028. Of course, pilots never get lost, we're only ever temporarily unsure of our position. I'll climb up to about 1500, 2000 feet, okay. I'll level off and uh, I'll get you on the controls. Parachute aircraft lighting up. Parachute aircraft. Is that drop that you feel, is that just a thermal... Yeah, it's just air movement. Go on, Mike, India, taxi on 1026. Yes, I'm trying to keep it as smooth as I can. Maintain the correct climb speed of 60 knots. Back India, Roger, every back correct. And keep the climb going at about 1,000 foot a minute. And, uh, Where, how do you know how fast 
Oh, I see, yeah, vertical speed. Airspeed speed indicator, yeah. vertical speed, altimeter. Yeah, it's a nice day. Beautiful. Okay, Stuart, if you want to put your feet on the pedals, you okay. won't have to do a lot with those. Put your left hand on the lever, you yep. won't do much with that. I'll bring the stick down for you, just okay. take hold of the stick there. Now, okay. if we look ahead, we can see the horizon, the compass level with it. Yep. If that compass stays there, all well and good. But if it should come up a little bit, yep. we just push forward and hold forward. it. If it drops forward, we pull back, okay. push to hold it. If it rolls over to the right, we come left okay. and right. If it comes left, we pull right and back okay. to the left. I'll fly along with you for a little while and I'll yep. just try to ease off the pressure, relax, try okay. to just stare at that, enjoy the view, yep. and I'll let you have a go. It takes a little while to get used to it. Nice small movements. Well, it's it is tiny movements, yeah. actually, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. it is. Yeah. That's it. Okay, lost a little bit of airspeed, so just push gently forward. That's it. Push again. That's it. Don't panic. Just push. Hold it there. Hold it. Push. Push. Good. Now. Okay, come up, boom. That's it. Keep it there. Okay, come up, then. Good. Okay, there you are. Uh, flying. Looks like you're lining up for two nine. A helicopter. I can That's hear. That's it. Just. That's Maidstone. Yeah. Faversham is over there somewhere. Sitting bone, probably to the right. Right. So is that where the where the, the helicopters turn slightly? Is that on the your pedals that No, it's all done on this. Right. Try to keep it level. I've had my lunch, so <laughs> I thought it was level. <laughs> <laughs> And then when we get a bit closer to Leeds Castle, I'll take over, you can okay. snap a few yeah, pictures. Yeah, right. It's a fabulous view. It is, isn't it? It's absolutely wonderful. Remarkable. Leeds Castle's just coming up over yeah. here. When we get a little closer, I'll take over okay. and you can snap. And we'll go around the north side. How do you feel, all right? Yeah, great. Good. Great. Good. Took me off the ball then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nothing much going on at Leeds Castle yet. That's it. Just ah, sure, that five minutes for the eight thousand. Five minutes, eight thousand. Stuart, shall I take over? Yeah. Okay. All right. I have control. Okay. And uh, you can get Echo your camera out. Echo Echo if you want to bring your feet back on flat yep. on the floor, Come on, Norman. Two nine left hand. Good. QFE one zero two six. Roger, and we'll be uh, joining downwind uh, currently four miles to the south of uh, Staplehurst. North point here is two nine hold ready for departure. And we'll be going round. Right the way round the north. Lucky to have a nice photogenic it is. building. Yes, it is. It's Back in very handy. Yeah. So getting that that level flight is just.
regular practice. It is. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, we all start off wobbling it about yeah, thinking, yeah. how the hell do you fly this damn yeah. thing? <laughs> and uh, eventually it falls into place. Reminds but me a lot of uh, a digger with, with yeah, different controls. Yeah. Well, I, years ago, I went up when my nephews were younger. I went up to Diggerland with them, and uh, surprising how difficult it is yeah, to coordinate. It is. Yeah, you know, it's just like flying these things, really. And then if you want to come back on and fly, yeah. you're welcome to. Okay. So a little, you can still see the horizon here, the ground and the grey, so yeah. uh, a lot of birds up here ahead of us, but... Uh, do, you have to, do you have to do anything with... with well, they, no, they normally avoid you. Okay. As you would, I suppose. You certainly wouldn't want them to hit you though, that's no. for sure. No. I remember once coming over this ridge and I saw below me five buzzards really? just circling around. Yeah, it was fantastic. I'm just going to make a radio call. Okay. Helicopter Lima Alpha at the ridge for rejoin. Understand 291026, the QFE. I'll call final from the north into the western end initially. Lima Alpha, Roger. I've got a run in at uh, 8 and another one at 12, Phil. So. Lima Alpha, copy on that, Dave. We'll go into the western end. I've got some hovering to do anyway. Roger. Good. So there we are. Yeah. Nice yeah. and easy. Cool, Mike India, turning final for 2-9, touch and go. Mike India. I can see the addiction. Oh, yes. Yeah. Well, it's quite a challenge as well. It is, You know, yeah. flying one of these. Yeah. So I guess it's with the practice comes the uh, the confidence of yeah, uh, and and just not thinking about it too much. Well, yes, that's that's the idea. At the end of the day, Go for the Fox Fox family, because you're going to have if you're flying somewhere, yeah, you know, you're going to have plenty to do with navigating, talking yeah. on the radio, perhaps chatting to your passengers. Yeah. You don't want to be thinking too much about what this is, no. you know. Which you at the moment, that's yeah, all, you that's just want this to be all trying to hold it straight, yeah. yeah. It's an aircraft just over there. Okay. Actually, that car's running in C8. Running in 8. Is there an optimum level for flying to, to get the best sort of air currents or...? Uh, probably the higher the better, but okay. most fixed wing it's operated at, you know, anything from a thousand to two and a half, three. Right. Sure, just sit back and relax for a moment. Yeah. Let's just, uh... We're just, the airfield's just down here, so we're just going to lose a little bit of altitude. Okay. I've just put the engine down to tick over. Yep. Rotor RPM, needle on the right, they're still spinning. We're actually in auto-rotation now, so okay. this just loses us a little bit of height a little quicker, so... So it's just spinning at its natural yep. speed? Yeah, you know like the old sycamore seeds? Yeah. You let go? Yep. That's what they're doing now, so... I've just got to find somewhere to put it now. Exactly, yeah. And if I had to make an emergency landing, I'd probably turn into that field over there. Right. Back into wind. Okay. Helicopter Lima Alpha, final from the north into the western end. Lima Alpha. Go for the Fox Trust landing final, how'd you go? Mike India downwind for 29, touch go. Mike India.
And of course here we're operating downwind, almost. So you have to be a little careful here yeah. when we come in. And they've got sheep in the uh, western end, but that shouldn't be too much of a problem. You have to be very aware of the surroundings. Uh, aircraft, five minutes to the top. In a different way. Five to minutes to go. How you normally aware about things? Yeah, yeah. If that makes any sense? No, yeah. I mean, you have to. You know, you've got to be aware of what you're flying over in case you have to make some sort of an emergency stop. Yeah. You know, or landing. some car beat away. So, let's have a chat about the hovering. So to hover and maintain position I use the stick. Yeah? Okay. What I also use though is a reference point ahead of the helicopter and today I can use that tree. Okay. And I think we're probably roughly into wind here. So that tree will show me whether the machine's moving say to the left. Yeah. Or to the right. Or even sure, if we're your final moving away from it. Yeah. I can, yeah. Or even if we're moving back towards it. Now, if the helicopter does, say, move to the right, what I do is I move the stick to the left, then I put it back into the middle to stop it overshooting. Okay. If it goes left, I go right and middle, again, to stop it overshooting. If it goes backwards, I go forward and middle. And if it goes forward, I go back and middle. Right. So I'm always searching for this middle position, yeah. which will help to keep the helicopter nice and still. The problem is the middle position varies because the wind varies. Right. right? I was just going to ask that. Yeah, exactly. So... You're always trying to find that middle position, which, as I say, will vary due to the wind. Yeah. So it's not a case of random pot stirring to no. try and keep it still. It's back and middle, forward and middle, left and middle, right and middle. It could be any combination of those maneuvers. So always return All to right. middle. Yeah. yeah. Um, the other thing that you can use in the forward and back mode, of course, is the compass again. Unreadable. Okay. Lined up with the horizon. So if you go Go'll forward, it drops. You to you go. pull back and push. Yeah. If it goes up, you're going backwards, you push forward and pull yeah. back to hold it. Okay? So, Stuart, what we'll do, I'll bring the stick down for you. Don't worry about the pedals, just okay. keep your feet flat on the floor, I'll do those for you. And we'll do a little bit of hovering together, and you'll notice that all I'm doing is just nudging very slightly, just to keep it in position, yeah. alright? Okay. So I'll ease a little bit of pressure off, and you can start to have a go on your own. Nice small <laughs> movements. That's hard, I don't, I don't that's mind harder it, than it looks. Yeah, I don't mind if it drifts around slowly. Just try and... All, all fast? Forward and middle, back and middle, back and middle, left and middle, left and middle, left and middle. Okay? That's it. Good. I'm I just, think that's the... Uh, the challenge is... is <laughs> it's alright. It's finding that middle reference, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, you've just got to... Kind of nudge it. Okay, let's move yeah. away from the river. Yeah. Let's go back in position. <laughs> you just don't want to get wet. <laughs> no, exactly. <laughs> That's harder than it looks. Yeah, you're, you're doing fine. It's good. Okay, come back on. Okay. And uh, let's just settle that out. Is that with me? Yeah, I'm okay. easing off now, so... No, why, how comes it you're still... <laughs> back a middle, back a middle, right a middle, left a middle, left a middle, left a middle, left a middle. That's it, just keep searching for that middle position. Good, keep working. It's, it's that drift, isn't it, that it's very, very hard to... It's just because the stick's not quite in the... Yeah. There we are, yeah. it's coming now, that's good. Okay. 
Strong crosswinds. <laughs> All right, let's move away from the river again. No, it's good. That's fine. I can assure you, if it wasn't good, Stuart, I'd be, I'd be <laughs> on there a lot more. No, we're right into wind, actually, so there's no excuse. It's just practice. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Have another go. That's it, keep working. Nice small movements. Just when you think you've got it. Good. Stuart, sit back and relax. Yep. Right, let's just move back again. Let's have a look at the pedals and the lever. So the pedals... Heck on golf! Bravo, bravo, bravo! Bravo, bravo! Pedals will keep oh, you away from the tree, yeah? So if it yours round like that, right, away from the tree, you squeeze on the left pedal. Okay. And as it comes round to the tree, squeeze back on the right. If it comes round to the left, squeeze on the right pedal and squeeze back on the left to hold it, okay? So it's kind of like a squeezy one-two yep. movement, yep. all right? Now the lever keeps you at the height, okay. so if the helicopter drops, squeeze up, and then squeeze down just before it wants to overshoot. Right. If it climbs, squeeze down, and then squeeze back up to hold it, all right? Okay. So if you want to put your okay. feet on the pedals and your left hand on the lever, yep. don't worry about the stick, I'll do that for you. So I'm just going to ease off the pressure on yep. the pedals, have a feel, yep. and see what they're like. Kind right. of squeezy movement. Yep. And you want a bit more left. That's it. That's it, don't be afraid to push. That's it, good. And then of course the lever, if it drops, that's it, good. Get more go. left pedal there. Back in, yeah. That's good. If it climbs, just squeeze down gently, yeah, that's good, nice. I think there's a buzzard over there, actually. Oh, yeah? Yeah. It's called Golf okay. Bravo Juliet. Let's keep placing the tree at this height. Nice and squeezy. Two nine on the left hand, QFE 1025. Two nine left hand, 1025, Golf Kilo Foxtrot. And if, if it's comfortable facing that tall poplar, just and leave it shot. facing that tall poplar, Stuart. Because <laughs> the wind will vary a little well, bit. Yeah. Passenger, good afternoon. Helicopter Golf Sierra Alpha India Golf. India Golf, good afternoon. Flash message. A lot of things. Helicopter India Golf, yeah. Robinson R44. Okay, I'm just bringing the board stick board down for you. Just Robinson take hold of the stick. I'll keep doing it for you. Okay. So you're, just, you're still doing the pedals and lever. Request joining instructions, please. India Golf, we're on 29 QFE 1025. What I'll do is I'll ease a little bit of pressure off. Helicopter India Golf. On the uh, helicopter in the Gulf, I have canopies in the air at the moment. On the stick. Either remain clear of the zone or to the western end, and I will advise when canopies yes. are down. Yeah. Copy the canopies. Um, I'll probably be about five That's or ten minutes before I get there anyway. Yes. Helicopter in the Gulf. Wow. Roger. Go for a race of departure. Rather bravo. Unbelievable. <laughs> okay, just stay on. Okay. Let's just move away. I think they're nearly all down the parachute, so we should have time just have another little go. Okay. So I'm going to ease off on the pedals and the lever first. Okay. Good afternoon, the Papa Hotel, Papa Mike, Alpha for radio check and taxi out for the VFR flight. 
I'll ease off the pressure on the stick as well. Stuart, sit back and relax, I have. Good, well done. Very good. Thank you. Now, now. Roger. Uh, Bob Lord, Box, ready with departure. Box, read new 5, 2-9-er, Q&H, 1027. 027, taxi now to 2-9-er, Bob Lord, check up on the Box. Definitely need more practice. Echo Hotel Sierra S. Echo. Echo Hotel Sierra Echo. Thank you. Helicopter Libra Alpha, is that all the shoots on the ground? Uh, manifest Echo. Two tandems in the air. Ah, OK. Libra Alpha, apparently there's still two tandems to come down. Copied. Libra Alpha, OK. Uh, any chance we could cross and backtrack south side of the runway back to the pad? Go ahead, that's okay, we're manifest. All yours, Lima Alpha. Lima Alpha, uh, Roger, and uh, I'll call crossing. Roger. Look at this guy just landing. Go, Mike India, downwind for 29, full stop. Mike India. That's the aircraft final for that. This guy. Helicopter Lima Alpha after the uh, aircraft just taking off. I'm going to cross 2 9 to the south side and back to the pad. Lima Alpha. You enjoy it? Very good. Good. Very good. We give you a certificate for the flight, Stuart, so okay. we'll go back over the office and uh, we'll get that for you. Four canopies are now on the ground, still 2-9 QFE 1025. 2-9 1025, currently just over Head Cranbrook at 2,000 feet. Roger. Wow. Thank you. Just got a couple of minutes to call the engine down, Charlie, and I need some fuel. OK, uh, Polly's there. Uh, oh. Mike India, left base for 2-9 final. Mike India. Definitely going to want one. Good. 